Howdy students, this is going to be a video that is going to be used to help you memorize a handful of polyatomic ions. So let's get started. Go ahead and look at the picture here. What do we have? This is Sicko Nick the Camel. That's right, Sicko Nick is eating a creepy clam for supper. And he's eating that creepy clam for supper in Phoenix. So let's see how we can use this to memorize the polyatomic ions. The first thing we need to do is write out the sentence, Sicko Nick the camel ate a creepy clam for supper in Phoenix. The capitalized words are going to relate to a certain polyatomic ion. So Sicko is going to relate to silicate, which is S-I-O. We'll get to the subscripts in a moment. Nick is going to relate to nitrate, which is nitrogen and oxygen. Camel would be carbonate, C and O. Creepy would be for chromate, C-R-O. Clam would be for chlorate, C-L-O. And supper, S-O. And phoenix would represent phosphate, which is P-O. Now let's get to those subscripts. What I like to do is underline the amount of consonants in each word. Sicko has one, two, three consonants. Nick has three consonants. Camel has three. Creepy has four. Clam has three. Supper has four. And Phoenix has four. So what do the consonants tell us? Well, the consonants tell us the number of oxygens. So silicate has three oxygens. Nitrate has three oxygens. Carbonate has three oxygens. Chromate has four oxygens. Chlorate has three oxygens. Sulfate has four oxygens. And phosphate has four oxygens. Now what I like to do is underline the vowels. Or point to them in this case. Sicko has two vowels. Nick has one vowel. Camel has two vowels. Creepy has two vowels. Clam has one. Supper has two. And you have to know how to spell phoenix, but it has three. So, the number of vowels equates to the amount of negative charge on the polyatomic ion. Silicate has a two minus charge. Nitrate has a one minus charge. Carbonate has a 2 minus charge. Chromate has a 2 minus charge. Chlorate has a 1 minus charge. Sulfate has a 2 minus charge. And phosphate has a 3 minus charge. This sentence gives you a base of 7 polyatomic ions. Now I'm going to show you how we can derive several others from this base sentence. For some polyatomics, if I decrease the number of oxygen by one, I can find several different polyatomic ions. For instance, if I take the polyatomic ion for nitrate, for chlorate, for sulfate, and for phosphate, and if I take the number of oxygens and I decrease it by one, say NO2, ClO2, SO3, and PO3, what I get is the same polyatomic ion, but instead of eight ending, it is ite. So NO2, one minus, is nitrite. ClO2, one minus, is chlorite. SO3, two minus, is sulfite. And PO3, 3 minus is phosphite. Within chlorate and chlorite, I can derive two more polyatomic ions. If I have ClO, 1 minus, that is below chlorite, and this is called hypochlorite. If I go above chlorate and I add one oxygen, which would be ClO4, and it would still have a 1 minus charge. That's above chlorate, and we call that 
per chlorate. If I'm looking at chromate, I can derive dichromate by doubling the amount of chromium atoms. So now what I can do is have Cr2, and O actually does not just double, it only goes to 7. But the charge is still 2 minus, and this is called dichromate. Now what I can do is derive several more by adding hydrogens to these polyatomic ions. And what you need to know is that when you add a hydrogen, a hydrogen ion is going to be a positively charged ion, which means the charge is going to drop by one. So let's see how that plays out. I can add a hydrogen to carbonate, which is CO3, two minus, And when I add a hydrogen, that charge is going to drop to a 1 minus. Let's apply this to sulfate and phosphate, as well as sulfite and phosphite. SO and PO. Let's go ahead and write out here is sulfite and phosphite. And let's also write sulfate and phosphate. When we add our hydrogens, the charge is going to drop. So for sulfate, it will now be a 1 minus. Same for sulfite. For phosphate, it will be 2 minus and for phosphite, 2 minus. These polyatomic ions have different names. This is now called hydrogen sulfate, hydrogen sulfite, and the other would be hydrogen phosphate and hydrogen phosphite. We can do the same thing once again for phosphate. And when we add hydrogen again, we put a 2 subscript, and the charge drops once again to a 1 minus. This is called dihydrogen phosphate. There may be other polyatomic ions not included in this list, such as the positively charged ammonium. We may also look at acetate, C2H3O2, which is a 1 minus charge. We also have permanganate, MnO4, 1 minus. We also can look at oxalate, which is C2, excuse me, C2O4, 2 minus. We have hydroxide. We have cyanide. There is others as well, such as bromate and iodate, which we will not cover in this course. Y'all have a great day.